Hello friends, welcome to Green Peach YouTube channel. This channel will discuss about high yielding and most repeatedly asked questions for those who are preparing for medical PG entrance. If you didn't subscribe our channel so far, please do it and click the bell icon next to it to receive notifications. Feel free to click the like button and share your comments. Hello friends, today we will discuss about tracheoesophageal fistula. Tracheoesophageal fistula is usually associated with the esophageal atresia. We can see normally the esophagus goes through the diaphragm and the trachea is normally seen. Now let's look into the types of tracheoesophageal fistula. The first type is esophageal atresia with proximal fistula. The second type is esophageal atresia with distal fistula. And third type is esophageal atresia with fistula on both ends, that is H type. Of these types, the most common is second one, atresia with distal fistula. Let's have a look into the clinical features of tracheoesophageal fistula. Tracheoesophageal fistula is associated with regurgitation, choking and cyanosis. In newborn baby, due to this esophageal atresia, the mother will be having polyhydramnios. Investigation for tracheoesophageal fistula is esophagography and tracheobronchoscopy. Tracheoesophageal fistula is a part of bacterial anomaly. It includes vertebral body segmentation defect anal atresia, congenital heart disease, most commonly ventricular septal defect, tracheoesophageal fistula, renal agenesis and limb anomalies. Let's solve this MCQ. Most common type of tracheoesophageal fistula is option A, esophageal atresia with the fistula from proximal segment, option B, esophageal atresia with the fistula from distal segment, option C, esophageal atresia only, option D, esophageal atresia with fistula from both distal and proximal segment. Yeah, that's it guys.